Welcome to All I Mass TV. My name is Jakes Anemo. And in today's class, we have another challenge again. Very simple challenge. But before we go into today's challenge, if you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe to this channel and turn on the bell notification button so that YouTube can get you notified whenever we drop a wonderful video like the one you're about to watch right now. Let's go into today's challenge. Ketopi x plus 5, close bracket, x to, to the power of x squared minus 10x minus 3. Now, you may be tempted to look at this and say the answer is minus 1 all over 2. Do not be in haste to just conclude. We are going to have two solutions, two value of x. Why? Because we are having the power here, uh, a quadratic equation from the power here. Okay, so if you are too smart, you may just conclude that the answer is just minus 1 all over 2 by this and this takes care of the self. This and this will take care. So you are now left with minus 4 equal to minus 10 minus this. And that will give you minus 1 all over 2. But sit back as I take you on this smooth journey. So we take down our equation. It says... Your bracket epin x plus 5 to the power of x squared minus 4x equal to bracket epin x plus 5 all to the power of x squared minus 10x minus 3. Wow. So like I told you, yeah, the basis are the same. But if we go by that law, we are going to run into some trouble. So the best thing to do here is to take the natural log of both sides. Using the i n, okay, your i n. So this will now give you say take natural log, okay, natural log of both sides, of both sides. So if we do that, this will automatically give us your i n bracket x plus five all to the power of x squared minus four x equal to your i n again i n bracket x plus five close bracket x squared minus 10 x minus three wow okay now there is a law of logarithm that says if you have log your m to the power of k this 10 bring this back this will give you k log m this 10. so your k is your power we have here is same thing we have here so we can move this backward move this backward so if we do that this expression will automatically give us here bracket open x square minus 4x close bracket i n bracket x plus 5 close bracket equal to we also bring this back to give us here bracket open x squared minus 10 x minus 3 close bracket I n bracket x plus 5 plus bracket. Wow, very good. Now, let's look at this. Like I told you, do not be too quick to cancel this with this. At this point, what we do here is to move the 10 from the left hand side to the right hand side. Okay? Or we move the one of the right hand side to the left hand side. So let's do that. And this will now give us here your. Bracket open x squared minus 4x close bracket i n bracket x plus 5 close bracket minus the whole of this crosses to this side bracket x squared minus 10x minus 3 close bracket i n bracket x plus 5. Very simple. Now that we're having i n bracket x plus 5 here and here, we can factor it out so if we factor that out we're going to have here your i n bracket x plus five close bracket or into square bracket bracket x squared minus four x the close bracket minus dex which is x squared minus 10 x minus three close bracket or equal to zero Sorry, yeah, it's equal to zero. 
Okay. We can now open the bracket here and simplify everything we have here. So if we do that, this will now give us in bracket x plus 5 close bracket bracket x squared minus 4x there minus x squared minus times minus will give us plus 10x minus times another minus will give us plus 3. Okay, close bracket equal to 0. So from here, let's continue. Let's continue from here and see what this gives us. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'm using a mini board. Okay, so pardon me for now. I'm using a mini board. So if we take a critical look at this, this square, we take care of this square. Then we are now left with minus 4x and plus 10x. So if we do that, this will give us here I n bracket x plus 5 plus bracket bracket minus 4x plus 10x will give us 6x plus 3 or equal to 0. You know, see, something special has happened here now. We are having this now. Here we apply what is called the zero product property. So looking at this with the zero product property, we equate this to zero, we equate this to zero. Like you normally do in your quadratic factorization so this will now give us i n s plus five equal to zero or six x plus three equal to zero okay now on the left hand side we introduce a special identity called the e okay to counter this i n to cancel this i n i will do that to both sides here so introducing that this will now give us here your e I n bracket x plus 5 equal to e naught. All right. So your e will cancel your i n. So we are now left with your x plus 5 equal to 1. Sorry. S plus 5. E naught will give us 1. From here, we collect light tends to give us here x equal to 1 minus. Five. So we have here x equal to minus four. The, the other side of it, here we are having six x plus three equal to zero. So we have six x equal to minus three. So your x is equal to your minus three all over six. Therefore, x is equal to minus one all over two. In all, the value of our x now be what? All right, so if we now bring this together, this will now give us therefore x equal to your minus 4 comma minus 1 all over 2. Simple as A, B, C. Q, E, D. All right, so like I told you earlier on, that this guy will give us two solutions, not one. Like maybe what your mind must have told you, just many looking at it. Okay, so... This is Online Mass TV. My name remains Jigs. If you have gained something from this video, give it a thumbs up. Okay? Or you can drop something in the comment section by saying thanks, Jay, for the good work. And if you have a better way of solving this, a quicker way to save time, drop it in this comment section. Because we are here to learn from you, even as you learn from us too. Thank you for being there. Remember, Online Mass TV loves you.